For this 21 draw drawing lesson, we're going to have so much fun. We're going to draw the seahorse in 3D. A seahorse with this long, foreshortened trumpet, and it's going to be playing a symphony. You're going to love it. We're going to use more of the 12 Renaissance words. Remember, the first line is the most important one. Just to take that courage, you uh, have a few moments of wild, wonderful, crazy courage, just like my book you can draw in 30 seconds says. Get that courage together. Just, just make that line and you'll build on that and we'll build your confidence in your skill. So let's start with our seahorse very lightly. This is a whisper line right here. Very light. Whisper, right? Shh, whisper line. You start light. We're going to, now what I've done, you see how I kind of put that template for my spacing. I kind of figured out where I want to position this. You don't really have to do them. I do that. Uh, with these lessons, so on the camera, it's nice and positioned for you. But generally, I just start right away. So now I'm going to draw the S curve. Watch this from the back. If a very whisper line, the, uh, that's the head of the seahorse. And I'm going to use an S curve. Now watch this. I'm going to come down the back, and I'm going to curve in here. See this nice S curve? That's one of those. That's one of those 22 art augmenting words. Those, those words that make your drawing more brilliant and more beautiful and add more detail to your drawing. All right, so I used the blocked in a light head for the seahorse. Here's that S curve. I'm putting a little spiral, a little coil back here. And I want to make the seahorse's trumpet really uh, trumpeting out. So I'm going to put, put a guide line here and draw the angle. What angle do I want the trumpet to go on? That looks like a good, I'm going to have him blowing bubbles and music. So then I'm going to draw the foreshortened circle. Remember that, the squish circle here. I'm going to draw this. See, I'm still drawing light, but I'll start drawing darker in just a second. See that? We're just kind of shaping, we're molding, we're blocking in our drawing. And then I'm going to taper this, the seahorse's horn back here. I'm twisting and turning my paper. You can, you can draw this. You see this? It's going to look really cool. So there's our trumpet. And, I'll, and again, you can twist and turn your paper. You don't have to have your, your paper taped and locked down. It's not nailed down here. Here's the jaw. Isn't that fun? There's our jaw. Now I'm getting darker as I go. And then here's the, see that? This is one of the reasons why they call it a seahorse is that jaw right here. And then the neck. And then tapers down. See, it's thicker right here. It's going to get, uh, it's thicker. It's uh, thinner at the top of the neck, and it gets thicker as it comes down. So then I'm going to, see what I'm just doing a nice, I'm going to draw the belly coming around here. And it's going to curve around. And then look, I'm overlapping, just being scribbly and sketchy. Isn't that fun? I'm going to draw the near eye right here. This, this eye is going to be a little bit larger. And now I'll go ahead and start drawing darker. The near eye and then overlapping. You can make these any size you want. Draw that eye back behind here. That looks good. Love it. And then take your eraser, kind of clean up here. Yeah, I'm going to clean up the lines I don't need, my positioning lines. I'm loving it. I kind of erase and clean up as I go. All right. So now I'm going to start drawing a little bit darker. I'll draw it darken in the snout here. I'll angle this back. And here we go. We're tapering it down. Darken it. Isn't that fun? Look at that. Now, I'll darken in the jaw. Remember, this is the fun part. The hardest part was just that first line, just getting the courage, the crazy courage, just to make that first circle, make that first line. And then with me, you're going to learn these Renaissance words, and you're going to be able to build your drawing skill. No problem. Easy, easy peasy. All right, I'm going to put the, uh, the, the fins. I'm going to put this, they're like arms. I'm going to put the, these two near fins right here. Okay, so I'm just blocking this in. And then I'll darken it in here. I'm going to draw this really cool fin. And then the other fin, I'm going to put it on the other side of the body. So I'll go ahead and darken. See what I did? I start light. Look at the process. I start light and I layer and layer and layer the detail. Look at the visual logic. The other fin's going to be on the uh, shoulder. It's going to be up just a little bit, right? So I'll put a dot about right here. And I'm going to draw this other fin back here. He's going to be waving very, very friendly seahorse here. He's waving back here. I'm just making sure it, this one's a little bit smaller. That size, it's overlapping, so tucked away a little further away. 
And there's that fin coming out here. See, I made it a little bit smaller, all right? Then erase, clean up as you go if you want. You don't have to. That's just something I do. I like to clean up as I go so I can see it here. And then blend it and then clean it up. I'm loving it. We're going to have so much fun when we're adding the, the texture and the detail. Now back here, I want to put the, the, the fins, right? the back fin of the seahorse here. See this? I'm going to draw the, this fin coming back. All right. So I'll take my pencil and I'll darken the sand. This is going to be that, that fin on it. It's like the mane, the horse's mane, right? And then I'll curve these out here. And they get smaller and smaller. So I'll start at the top. Now, I used to call this right here scallop lights when you curve it down. But I was watching this episode of this crazy cool baking show on TV, this violent baking show. I'm joking. It wasn't violent. It's called Cake Boss. And they used to throw cupcakes at each other. And I saw Cake Boss on, the, on this episode take his thumb and start pressing the side of a cake, the frosting, and decorating the frosting. He said he was going to flute the frosting. And I thought, oh, that's perfect, that word fluted. I'm going to use that word from now on to teach my students how to curve that line when you're drawing uh, fins, when you're drawing wings, when you're drawing leaves on plants. Fluted, that's a, that's a wonder. Scallop works too, these curved lines, but I just love that word fluted. So I'm going to curve this, curve it in here, fluted. So I even wrote a, I wrote an email to Mr. Cake Boss. I said, hey, Mr. Cake Boss. First time, uh, right, first time correspondence, but long time viewer. Love your show. Love how you guys throw cupcakes at each other. By the way, the word fluted is great. I'm going to use it to teach millions of my drawing students around the world how to curve their lines. So great word. Thanks for the tip. And I sent him an email. About three months later, he actually responded. He wrote back and he said, thanks. It was all, it was brilliant. I, I printed it. I framed it. I put it in my office. I say, Cake Boss and I are BFFs now. We're, we're pen pals. He wrote me back. and I have it framed in my office to prove it. Here, now watch this. See this? Curve this down. I'm going to darken in this tail. See, I'm going to tuck it underneath here. I'm going to tuck it around. See what I'm doing? Now I'm looking at what I what I blocked in before. Now here I'm going to have a little bit overlapping. Look at the tail kind of goes behind the fin. And then this one, watch this. This one tucks behind here, kind of overlapping. You see that? I love that. This is the fun part. Getting the, the outline, getting the, the drawing positioned, getting all the details. And then we start adding the shading and the extras. I'll go ahead and do a little layer of cleanup, cleanup, cleanup. I'm loving it. All right, then coming out of the nose, I want to put a stream of bubbles. So there's that angle of the trumpet. I want this to be the happiest, most joyful, bubble blowing mus musical seahorse that you've ever seen. So I'm going to put, I did that light guideline of the row of bubbles. And then I just want to take my time. Now remember, if I go too fast for you guys, if I go too fast for you, just push pause. That's one of the wonderful benefits of this 21 Draw series is you have that pause button, okay? You just push pause, and then you can fast forward, rewind here. I'm, now, when I'm drawing the bubbles, remember, the, uh, using one of those 22 augmenting art terms, this is called variation. I'm putting a uh, variety of sizes, some big, some small, some big. You don't want to draw all the same size. It will look too like a cookie cutter, look too, uh, uh, too unnatural. So put different sizes. See, some big, some small. Do you love it? Love it, love it, love it. Now, if you want to go crazy, you can take some of these and make some music notes here. See that? I'm going to, this is a seahorse symphony. So I'm going to have the seahorse playing. What music will you be playing? Mozart or Vivaldi or Beethoven or Bach? What music is it going to be playing here? Maybe some jazz. You know, I talked a lot about how I like listening to jazz when I'm drawing. A lot of the illustrations in my books that you all have in your collection, uh, I created when I was listening to YouTube jazz. Love it. Now, all, all, another, another great piece, if you ever heard of it, this Holtz 
uh, the planets. Have you ever have you heard that before? It's a wonderful piece to draw to. Of course, uh, uh, Mozart's always terrific too. Now, see the music coming out here? The bubbles, some big or some small. I love putting little details. Let's draw the, the his eyes. I'm going to have, do you want to have him looking back over his shoulder and looking at you or looking up in the sky? Uh, I think I'm going to have him looking back over his shoulder here. He's looking back at you, waving. Now, remember when I draw the eyes, remember when I draw reflections. Reflections do several things. Reflections help identify what direction the sun's coming from. Reflections help identify what direction your character is looking. And plus, reflections are just really, really, really cool. They make your drawing look really cool. So darken it in nice and, nice and dark. And then I'll put a little reflection back there. Darken it in here. I'm loving this. And then here's the fun part. We're about to get into drawing the detail and the shading. Okay.